Wow, what a beautiful mug. Looks like it's hand painted. Yes, of course. It is hand painted. See, customized mug with so much love and affection. The perfect gifting option or decoration piece for home. And we can even drink our tea and coffee in this. Hey, but tell me one thing. Won't the paint bleed or go away with the water? No, actually we are going to use ceramic paints for the ceramic mug. So ceramic paints are waterproof. You paint this mug with ceramic paints, let it dry for one full day and next day onwards you can use it. But I don't have ceramic paints. Not to worry. If that is so, you can use acrylic. Most of us have acrylic paints at home. But with acrylic paints, what you need to do is first paint your mug with acrylic paints. Then let it dry for one full day again. And the next day, microwave it at 180 degrees Celsius for at least half an hour. In case there are children who are doing this project, children need to take help of adults for microwaving the mug the next day. And do not touch the mug until it is cool. Once it is cool, it's good to go. But make sure not to wash your mug with any kind of scrubbers or hard materials. Hello my wonderful artists. How are you all doing? Now I'm back with very interesting activity for you all. As you know, Teacher's Day is coming. So I have a wonderful mug painting activity that you can do and dedicate this mug to your lovely, lovely teachers who put in so much effort for your overall growth. So let's get started. Things that you need for this. You need a marker or a pencil, whatever you are comfortable with to begin the drawing. Then, once the drawing is done, you will be needing acrylic paints or you can go for fevicryl paints, which are again acrylic colors. You can go for acrylic colors of any brand that you like. Next, the most important thing that you need is the mug. Preferably a white mug, but you can take a mug of any color. I would suggest that you take a mug of a lighter color or maybe a black color on which all the other colors that you apply will stand out. Now let's begin. To start with, I have decided to paint a sunflower for the lovely teachers who are as bright as the sun and put in so many efforts so that we all shine brilliantly like a sun. So let's get started. What you need to do to draw a sunflower is first the center of the sunflower can be as big as you like. Let's draw a circle. Permanent marker is always better. You can do a double circle if you want to add some designs. Next, please do not worry about any lines that are going haywire because you can obviously erase them with your color later. I'll tell you how your color can act as your eraser. Next, let's start drawing the petals. So first we are going to draw two petals on two sides. If you follow my videos, then you all know that I have already taught you how to draw the petals. And do not worry if the petals are coming a bit zigzag. Flower is a natural form and the leaves have an organic shape. So this is how the shape looks like. You can go for any other flower of your choice. You can even go for a four petal flower like this. I think this is also looking very, very beautiful. Next, I need to add, see what I have done is I'm drawing on this side, like the mug side, handle side, so that if anybody keeps it like this, this is pretty much visible. Next, I need to draw the petals in the center. So here I go. I'll add one in between this. Once done, I need to add some more petals at the back in between. 
Keep adding petals in between. Keep adding petals in between. Wherever you're finding space. So the more bigger and you want it to be a full of flower, that will be better. So I am just adding these petals in all these spaces. So my design is now ready. You all can see. Fine. So now it's time to paint it. Now you all must be wondering why the handle was on my left throughout. The reason for it being that mostly people are right handed. So when your teacher will hold the mug and she will drink her tea or coffee or whatever she likes, the design will be visible to everybody else. And she can proudly say that this is my, by my student, hand painted. All right, now I need my yellow color. I need orange. You can even take red if you like. We can even take white. I have golden as well. And we, we need brown and black for the center to start painting. Let's get started. First, I'll do brown in the center. Okay, so you can see I've used a dark brown. And now I have picked up some black color in my brush to do shading. And on the corners, I'm just going to apply this black. We can take a bit of water if we feel that the color is becoming too thick. So this base coat for the center of the sunflower is ready with a brown and a black like I told you. Next we are going to pick up our yellow color and begin the petals. You can take a brush with which you feel comfortable whichever size you are comfortable with. A number five, number six, number four depends on also on the size of your sunflower that you've made. And start painting the petals. Doesn't it look so vibrant? So this is how we are going to paint the petals. Petals at the back, I'm going to give a shading. So let's first quickly do the front petals. Be careful not to touch the black because it's not dry yet. So as you can see, it looks pretty vibrant with the yellow also. There is no... no need that you do the orange shading but I'm sure it will look more lovely and attractive if you do orange so I'm just going to add a bit of orange like this very little you can even leave it as strokes like this or you can do the blending because I'm going to do the blending so I'm making these thicker strokes of orange And now I'll pick up my yellow brush, dip it in water and blend. If you feel that the orange is looking too much, then you can take more yellow. I have not colored, filled this color completely. I've left it till here. And after that, I'm going to take some more yellow because I feel that there's a lot of orange. And just blend the colors together using my brush. You all can see there's a beautiful shading in the sunflower. Similarly, we can do in the other petals as well. You can either give the strokes. 
strokes can be like this to see how I'm putting the strokes just lines lines you can take more orange I already feel that there's a lot of orange so I don't want any more orange please take a thin brush for the strokes would be nice and let's color the rest of the petals too orange inside to show the depth or the orange is yellow and yellow on the outside to show the brightness I can take a bit more orange certain places to highlight now once you have it in the center in the inside part you can go for the yellow or you can do the yellow first and then blend so now I'm going to pick up my yellow and paint so see how the color gets blended Isn't the sunflower looking bright and lovely? Now time to add some yellow dots in the center. You can even take golden color for the same. I think I need to take thicker yellow because this is not showing really well. As we have a dark color base so we'll take thicker and more yellow in our brush. And very neatly try to do the dots of the same size but don't worry too much as this is hand painted and it is unique so this way we'll add some dots in the center you can even take a layer of golden if you like so I've left some space if needed I'll take some golden also So, when you are putting the dots, I would suggest kindly don't talk for some time because you can see since I'm speaking, so somewhere the dots don't look really round. Now, once this is done, you can add some golden dots or this way the design looks pretty good and lovely. I hope you all enjoyed painting a mug for your teacher. See you next time. Bye-bye.